So Joe Biden has been accused of sexual assault. I know, shocker. Reed worked for Joe Biden in the 90s, and she alleges that on top of just groping her inappropriately, like we've seen from Joe all the time, he also pushed her against the wall and touched her under her skirt without her consent. So I just want to start off this video by saying we should always, always, always be skeptical of any sort of accusation. It's not up to the court of public opinion to decide the outcome of these things. I'm a very big fan of due process. And as we have seen, movements like Me Too have been hit or miss, with big misses like Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Amber Heard accused Johnny Depp of being abusive until audio leaks came out. No, when you f***ing have a closed fist. You get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not f***ing deck you. I f***ing was hitting you. you I don't know what me. the boat motion of my actual hand was, but you're Fine, I did not hurt you, I did not punch you, I was hitting you. I was hitting you, I didn't hurt you. What? Why is that- okay Getting off topic, but sometimes me too hits it out of the park like with Harvey Weinstein That f in jail I actually recorded a video of me reading one of Harvey Weinstein's victims stories The first time I saw him fully naked, I thought he was deformed and intersex. He has an extreme scarring that I didn't know if maybe he was a burn victim, but it didn't make sense. He does not have testicles, and it appears he has a vagina. <laughs> what the fuck? You can see why I scrapped that. <laughs> Full disclosure, you probably already know my feelings about Joe Biden by now. Joe Biden, once again, up there looking like vanilla pudding. Absolutely nothing interesting comes out of that man's mouth. Joe Biden gets by on Obama nostalgia and fond memories of the Obama times. He needs to go home, he needs to retire, he needs to enjoy his life. He needs to watch Jeopardy and play crossword puzzles for the rest of his life. He needs to relax, he needs to go home. That should pretty much sum it up, but this is less about Joe Biden and more about everything surrounding this case. The incredibly concerning double standard from feminists and Democrats. And by feminists, I mean... these type. You know what I mean? And by Democrats, I mean Democrats. I'm an independent. I'm only a Democrat by force. In order to vote for the candidate I like, my state requires me to brand myself in the name of the donkey. And how Time's Up, which is basically the Me Too organization that has helped so many women, is refusing to help this woman. So get ready, because this is quite the ride. <laughs> So Joe Biden is in a bit of hot water, but you wouldn't know that by looking, well, anywhere. Nobody is talking about this. On the day I am recording this video, it has been four days since these accusations came out. The biggest platform to talk about this has been Yahoo News. That's basically like AOL talking about this. But even Yahoo News winded up moving the article to the sports section. So the link everybody was sharing, the link that went viral, doesn't work anymore. And you have to go find it in the sports section. I love sports ball. I am a huge sucker for the Streisand effect, so we are going to talk about it here on this channel. Time's Up said it could not fund a Me Too allegation against Joe Biden, citing its non-profit status and his presidential run. By Ryan Grimm. Last April, Tara Reid watched as a familiar conversation around her former boss, Joe Biden, and his relationship with personal space unfolded on the national stage. Nevada politician Lucy Flores alleged that Biden had inappropriately sniffed her hair and kissed the back of her head after she saw an episode of the ABC show The View in which most of the panelists stood up for Biden and attacked Flores as politically motivated, Reid decided that she had no choice but to come forward and support Flores. The short article brought a wave of attention to her, along with accusations that she was doing the bidding of Russian 
President Vladimir Putin, so Reed went quiet. To get legal help and manage what she knew from her first go-around would be serious backlash, she reached out to the organization Time's Up. By February, Reid learned that no assistance could be provided because Biden was a candidate for federal office. So Time's Up is basically telling this woman that they can't help her because taxes. The organization that was made to help women fight against their powerful, rich abusers is turning away this woman because her abuser is a presidential nominee. Yeah, if you're thinking this doesn't make sense, well, lawyers would agree with you. As a legal matter, if the group is clear regarding the criteria used as to whom it is taking to court, show that these are long-established neutral criteria and they are being applied to individuals completely independent of their running for office, it would not be a violation of tax law. So what's going on? What's the truth? Why is Time's Up not helping this woman? Well, I'm no Sherlock Holmes, but it might have something to do with this. Former Obama advisor Anita Dunn helped Harvey Weinstein strategize before New York Times story. Joe Biden hires Harvey Weinstein's damage control advisor Anita Dunn. The public relations firm that works on behalf of the Time's Up Legal Defense Fund is SKD Knickerbocker. Why does that sound racist? Whose managing director, Anita Dunn, is the top advisor to Biden's presidential campaign. It's a big club, and you ain't in it. Now, regardless of your opinion on this case, or Me Too in general, I think we can all agree that victims have a right to get help if they were raped or assaulted. It's not like this came out of nowhere either. She's been trying to talk about this case since the 90s. She actually lost her job when she was younger because of this. Last year, when she tried to come out with it, she was doxxed, harassed, and called a Russian asset because she once wrote a blog post about how she liked Russia. Yeah, put a pin in that because unfortunately it is going to be very relevant. So the only people who seem to be talking about this are Bernie supporters and right-wing people. And that's not a very good look. It makes it seem like people are just trying to take down Biden for political reasons. And also isn't a good look for Democrats in general because like, you're supposed to care about this shit. So I'm gonna play the audio of this woman telling her story. If you guys don't wanna hear somebody describe sexual assault or cry, uh, maybe skip to this timestamp down here. But here we go. Said, I want you to take this to Joe. He wants it. He wants you to bring it. Hurry. And I said, okay. And it was a gym bag. And so I went down and I was heading down towards there. And then um, we were in like the side, it, it was like the side area, handed him the thing and he greeted me. He remembered my name. And then it, we were alone. There was no like exchange really. He just had me up against the wall and, um, I was wearing like a skirt and, and I remember my legs had been hurting from the marble, you know, of the Capitol, mm -hmm. like walking. And I, so I remember that kind of stuff. I remember like I was wearing a blouse and he just had me up against the wall and the wall was cold. And I remember he, it happened all at once. The gym bag, I don't know where it went. I handed it to him, it was gone. And then his hands were on me and underneath my clothes. And, um, yeah. And then, he went, oh, he went down my skirt, but then up inside it. And he uh, penetrated me several things. And I can't remember everything he said. I remember a couple of things. I remember him saying first, before, like as he was doing it, do you want to go somewhere else? And then him saying to me when I pulled away, he said, come on, man. I heard you liked me. And I can't remember exactly if he said I thought or if I heard, but it, it, it's like he implied like that I had done this. Like, I don't know. And for me, it was like every, everything shattered in that moment because I knew like we were alone. It was over, right? He wasn't trying to do anything more, but it's, I looked up to him. He was like my father's age. He was this champion of women's rights in my eyes and I, I just felt sick because he when he pulled back he looked annoyed and he said um something else to me that I, I don't want to say and then he said you're okay you're fine you're okay you're fine and then he walked away and he went on with his day so how did democrats react to this shut the f up you kiss and telling 
Lying bitch. Only 20 more and a porn star to go before I start giving a damn, sport. Haha, <laughs> that's hardly disqualifying for a president these days. Next. Biden would still have to assault 18 more women to catch up to Trump. I don't really believe this, but even if it were true, why does it matter? when the POTUS has more than 20 allegations against him. Trump has multiple women accusing him of sexual abuse. More fake news. When will you people learn? We have a narcissistic, incompetent racist for president because you believe everything social media bots from Russia tell you to believe. Just another Russian, Republican, Trump, Putin, Bernie story. Stop it, just stop it. Leave Joe alone. Yeah, that's a Republican plant. Sounds like a Republican bot. Do not believe. Stop pushing this BS. Joe Biden is a kind and decent man. If he touched Tara, that means Tara also touched Joe. Oh my god. <laughs> And so the 2016 game plan begins by Trump and the Russians. There's a reason hashtag me too didn't go all in. They had a hard time believing her with her Russian friend. So a Putin connected woman. <laughs> what? Is accusing Biden of sexual assault and the story is coming from a Kremlin friendly publication. And there are people who actually take this garbage seriously. I believe women. I don't believe the Kremlin. Tara is a Russian asset, idiots. That's right, the Russian hysteria has gotten so bad that the Democrats are now dismissing a woman's sexual assault story because she once said something nice about Russia. Russia, Vladimir Putin, Russia, 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 Russia hates Russia, 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 Putin, Russia's Russia, 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 Russian, 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 Russia, Russia, Moscow, Moscow, Russia, Russian, pro Russian, Russian, Russia, Russian, Russian. Oh, it's really important to note that the people who broke this case were also the people who broke the Kavanaugh case. But now that it's your guy, it's a Kremlin psyop. Believe all women. Unless she said a nice thing about Russia. Arrest journalists running the Biden smear. Blacklist those journalists from the field. Shut down those outlets running it. What happened to believing women? Liar, 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 liar. So don't believe women? Not this one, that's a Bernie supporter. Nope, I don't. So that's where the line is. First of all, she's not even a Bernie supporter. She was a Warren supporter. But now that it's just her assaulter and Bernie, who do you think she's going to support? Believe all women. Unless it's a Bernie supporter. <laughs> For the sake of the argument, say Biden is a rapist. Trump is also a rapist. So why not vote for the rapist with the better policies? <laughs> First of all, is this elections now? I would fucking vote for my rapist if it meant getting Trump out of office during this pandemic before our entire country dies. I do not fucking care. Hi, Joe Biden is a sexual predator. Bernie wrote essays. What's your point? Uh, do we have to talk about Fifty Shades of Bernie? <sighs> we have to talk about Fifty Shades of Bernie. In the 1970s, Bernie Sanders wrote a rape essay. It was an essay critical of gender roles, but it had some uh, spicy takes in it. But I don't see how writing something in the 70s is comparable at all to doing something. Did Bernie bros also believe Elizabeth Warren when she came out and said Bernie told her she could never be president? Nope. This is why it shouldn't be called believe all women. It should be called believe all victims, believe all assault survivors, something like that. Because when you call it believe all women, you get dipshits like this comparing literal assault to just words, hurt feelings. For the 200 millionth time, Words are not violence. Putting someone against the wall and putting your fingers in them... Violence. That is the lesson for the libs today. <laughs> the best is going through these people's tweets that are like hashtag believe women like from years ago. This was from this person only a few months ago. When a man is accused of sexual assault, your first reaction should not be is she lying? Instead it should be these are very serious allegations if true and we should listen. And now this person's like just a reminder that Bernie pals around with women who fantasize about he wrote about it in 1973. Just admit you want to take the word of a woman who has a problem with honesty because Bernie. Bernie, the man who believes women fantasize about Not real women, I don't think, but the women of his own fantasies. I would hope a woman couldn't possibly be in her right mind to fantasize such a thing. This is honestly just innocent at this point and we're... 
going to move on. This is from this account in 2017. Believe the women. This is now. Bernie bros getting tired of sheltering in place, bored? You and Susan Sarandon decided to cook up a little sexual story that happened nearly 30 years ago. Go f yourselves. I equate the Me Too movement to the abolishing of slavery. It will take generations to change hearts and minds. Control over women has been going on for centuries, like slavery. Women are awake now, and there's no going back. March forward, ladies. It is our time. And this is now. Proof of the rape or shut the f up! Wow, did you see Trump saying he grabs women by the p What? This is an outrage. Women, women rise up! Did you see Biden apparently grabbed a woman by the p Oh, uh... <clears throat> well, she did write about Russia a few years ago. Again, as I'm recording this, no major news outlet has picked up on this. Yet we had entire segments about how Bernie bros are mean to people online and send emojis. Sanders' opponents are told to eat this poop and shut the F up. Trolling Senator Elizabeth Warren as a snake and in post after post labeling Mayor Pete Buttigieg a rat. Two victims of this tell CNN they were so afraid of the online attacks they faced they don't even want us to describe the circumstances for fear it would start up again. That has the same energy as this. Destroy. Die. Attack. Threats from a gang of computer hackers calling themselves anonymous. I've had seven different passwords and they've got them all so far. So I don't know what to believe. I'm not going to be like, oh, Joe Biden did it. Like, absolutely. He's a freaking rapist. Like, I'm not going to do that. We're gonna let due process sort this out. But just the fact that there's so much collusion, the fact that the media is silent, the fact that she's being smeared as a Russian asset, and we're being told, but Trump assaulted more people. Everything about this is just disturbing. These people don't have principles. They don't have convictions or beliefs. They just have teams. Red team versus blue team. So that was that. Thank you for watching. An extra special thank you to all my patrons. I'm gonna be start doing Patreon-only live streams very soon. The link for that will be in the description, so join if you can. So what do you guys think of all this? I think the double standard is crazy. I think the reaction and the silence from the media is just extremely- Ooh, what do you think of this, honey? You think she's a lying- Ollie. And I will see you all very soon with a new video, so...